At the end of last year, we had a five month stretch where we weren't going to see each other. So I started to question, should we be open for a while? And he didn't want to. And there was some bad behavior on my part, a little infidelity, but we talked about it and we just, it was just hard. Yeah, it was difficult for both of us, obviously. Um, you're, you're, you're more patient than me. I'm definitely more patient than you. Mm. I met James on a trip home to Sydney, where I'm from. And then so we went out and um, then I went back to New York and so long distance began. For a year, long distance. No, long distance is not cute. You were going to stare at each other for four minutes. Four minutes. What was going through your mind? Uh, being unfaithful while we were long distance and lying about it. I just wasn't a very good person. I was in a bad place. I lied a lot and those things come out and he has been very, very forgiving and understanding and just like, you know, I care enough to move forward. So but It's taken its toll though. It hasn't been easy. Like I, yeah. Not, yeah, not at all. It's been tough. What about you, James? Were you thinking of anything Giorgio was talking about? Oddly enough, not really. It was just more of a feeling of connected connectedness. I wasn't thinking anything negative or... Which is great because it has been on his mind and keeping him from sleeping well. I wasn't really thinking about anything. It was almost more meditative. I was just sort of able to block things out, mm. which is surprising, <laughs> just having a room full of people. The exercise is that you will hug each other for four minutes. I should have worn my bigger heels. I didn't even feel that long. No, I didn't. I just feel much calmer, thank you. Mm. What about you? I feel complete around you. It feels, just feels right. Aw. It's very romantical. Romantical? <laughs> now you're going to exchange compliments. Emotionally, you're very, very giving intellectually. You are like physically, spiritually. You're just so giving and generous. Uh, you're wildly eccentric, <laughs> <laughs> which I love. I think it's, it's amazing. You've got such a colorful personality and uh, you're witty. And, well, I won't elaborate because it's going to be on the rest of the cards. Okay, yeah. You always put my needs first and put up with my drama. You're just so unshakably patient so far. <laughs> You're sexy as fuck. Thank you. Absolutely stunning. Constantly turning me on. Yeah, it's amazing to be around you. Aww. Do you feel like things have changed after today? I'm so glad we came and did this because it's been a really nice connection that we needed. Yeah, and a bit cathartic as well, just being able to sort of purge a few things. Yeah. In front of other people. Yeah. yeah. All the things that we sort of dealt with, the infidelity, I've had to sort of deal with that on my own. Um, I haven't really discussed it with anybody, so, yeah, that's been difficult. And that was really because he was protecting me, I think. Like, you didn't want people to think ill of me. Yeah. That's how selfless he is. And I, I think it's nice that we stopped and took the time to just connect with one, an one another. Yeah, and I think that she's genuine in the sense that she, I mean, she said she'd never do it again, and, you know, I think I believe her. It's, it's a good reminder, like, what you have and not to take it for granted. 
because I don't think there are many like him. Is there anything that you like to say to each other? I'm sorry I hurt you, so I'm sorry. You make me feel really calm and cared for and you're such a good person and I'm so lucky. I love you, sweetheart. 